Hi guys, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're going to make Giggling's Island's special chili sauce. Now, we're here on the island and uh, we have to use what we have. Um, pause that for a minute, baby. We forgot the chili mix. Uncle Jesse here. Today we're going to make Giggling's Island's chili sauce for chili dogs. We're gonna have chili cheese dogs today. All right then, we got our pan hot, we have oil in it. We're gonna start off with a little bit of our onion. And we've got a mixture of white onion and red onion. So we're gonna use two small red onions and one small white onion. And we're gonna saute our onions In our frying pan, we're going to sweat them a little bit. Before we add our garlic. How you make that noise, baby? Shoom, 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 shoom. Yeah, shoom, shoom, shoom. But I like the shoom, shoom. What is the your ching, ching, ching? Ching, ching, ching. Okay, so we got our onions sweating. And our ingredients are purple and white onions, green chilies, garlic, and this gingling ground pork. You can find it here in any, most any grocery store. It's pretty good. It's just plain ground pork can. We're going to use two cans of this. We're going to use my special mix, cracked black pepper and red chili flakes, a little ketchup, a little mustard, and like I said, sometimes spices are hard to find here, but I found this McCormick Chili Con Carne mix. So it's got all the chili mix stuff in it we need for our hot dog chili sauce. So, now that our onions are good and sweaty, We're going to turn up our flame a little bit after we throw spoons and stuff on the floor. And uh, here, we'll wipe that off with the rag, it'll be fine. Alright, then, let's see if we can make a mess. Alright, we're going to dump off our garlic and our green chilies. We're just going to cast this bowl aside over here behind us. Saute that a minute. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. All right, we got that ching, chinging. Let me wipe the sweat off my forehead because when I go to doing something, I sweat like a Brahma bull. And you folks from the country know what a Brahma bull is. All right, then. Once we got our onions and garlic sweated with our peppers, we're going to add... What are we going to add? What are we going to add? Ah, we're going to add a dash of soy sauce. Now, I don't have any whiskasire, but when you don't have whiskasire sauce, a little soy sauce will work. So we're just going to use about a tablespoon of soy sauce. A good tablespoon. There we go. Then. Ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. I'm going to stir that in. Let that soy sauce get a little brownness to it. Come in here and let them look at that, baby. All right, and to that, we're going to add our meat. So we put in our ground pork. Make sure you get every little bit out of there. So it'll be really good. Okay, we add our two little cans of pork. Sometimes it don't want to come out because they got it packed in there.
Alright. And it's already pretty ground ground up pretty good, so we're just gonna chop, 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 chop that up a little bit. Yeah, stir that thing. around. And I forgot the tomato sauce. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a cup of hot water and I've put a tablespoon of tomato sauce in it to dissolve it. And we're going to add that in with our pork after it browns a little bit. I wanna brown my pork just a little bit before we put in the uh, tomato sauce. So we're gonna ching, ching, ching this up for a second or two and let this brown, uh, let this pork get a little brown and we'll be right back with you in just a moment. Hi guys, we're back. So we started out with a fried hot dog. Now these are Virginia jumbo hot dogs, uh, chicken, pork, uh, little beef, you know, you know the gig. We're on the island, so we can't get the Nathan's or the cheaper ones like the um, Oscar Mayer, which is pretty good too, beef hot dogs. But anyway, we got Virginia hot dogs, and they're the jumbo hot dogs, and we fried them, and they're ready to take up. So we're gonna take our Virginia jumbo hot dogs and transfer them over because we're fixing to use this pan for fried potatoes and onions to go with our chili cheese dogs. Okay, set that over there, baby. There's the lid for it. All right then, let's uh, start our potatoes. Wait, we might need a little more oil in there. I think we do. No, that might be enough oil. Okay, that might be enough oil. Let's go ahead and put our potatoes. We've had them soaking in water so they don't uh, turn brown. Oh, let me turn that back on. All right, so we're gonna put our potatoes in there. And these are, everything we're using is locally grown. We got it at the local market. We'll throw that over there on the ducks. All right then. Okay. Got our potatoes going. We're gonna turn this down on low and let them smother fry. We're going to add some pepper. About a teaspoon of black cracked pepper. We're going to add about a teaspoon of regular salt. And I have to be careful because it's got rice grounds in it because it clumps up. All right, we'll just do it this way. I'm gonna salt them good, about a teaspoon of salt, however you like it. But we're gonna salt them real good. And then we're gonna throw in the rest of our onions. Well, not the rest of them. We're gonna sprinkle them with onions because we're gonna save some for the top of our hot dogs. I saved already. Oh, you saved for the hot dogs? Okay, good. You got some for your stuff? Okay, good. Well, we'll just add all the onions into this then and make it more butter. You got a little piece of garlic I can throw in here, babe? Just a little piece is all I need. Okay. All right, a pinch of garlic, perfect over here. Okay, right. throw a pinch of garlic in there. We got our salt and pepper. We got our potatoes and onions. And we're just gonna cover that and let them simmer. All right, let's check on our Chili sauce, see how that's doing. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's so hot. <laughs> Later on, we're going to get it get better cooked where I do not like these aluminum cook pans. Because everything loves to stick to them. If you can just scrape that off the bottom there, that'll be good and brown for your chili sauce. To our 
our chili sauce, we're going to add our chili con carne mix. Let's, let's just put the whole thing in there and make it more better. Mm, All right. Good. Then we're going to add okay. about two tablespoons of ketchup. Shake it up real good. All right, two good tablespoons of ketchup and one tablespoon of my favorite French's yellow mustard. All right, then we're gonna add our tomato sauce. That we one tablespoon of tomato sauce and hot water to dissolve it, give you a little tomato paste. And there we go. Did I forget anything, babe? Did I salt and pepper it? Yep. No, I don't think I did. We're gonna use one tablespoon of black pepper, cracked black pepper. We're gonna do one tablespoon of salt. Mmm, yummy. When our salt's closed up, so let me open that real quick. Mm. One tablespoon of salt. And one tablespoon of my fresh cracked pepper and red pepper you showed mix. Them, you showed them. It's, a, it's about a pinch, a good pinch. Or we'll go two good pinches. There. And this is spicy, this is Giggling's Island spicy chili sauce. Then we're going to simmer it down. Until it thickens up. And that McCormick's has got, uh, I think they put cornstarch in it to help it thicken up a little bit. This works out pretty good. And the aroma, this smells excellent. So we're gonna let this thicken up a little bit while our potatoes are slow smother frying. And the potatoes and onions, that's what my mama used to do. She'd make Potatoes and onions, we're going to put the lid halfway on this and let it bubble like that. She'd make potatoes and onions, slice the potatoes, put onions in it, a little garlic, black pepper, and salt, and just let them smother fry, just like that. On low, until the potatoes were nice and tender and had a light to medium golden brown crust, and they were delicious with hot dogs, hamburgers, or anything like that. So while this is simmering down, We'll be right back and uh, we'll uh, show you how to make the cheese sauce. Go on our chili cheese dogs. Hi guys, welcome back. Or hey y'all. In our hot dogs, we're gonna use these hot dog buns. Now these are um, homemade, I guess you'd say freshly made from the bakery down the street. The lady does a good job. She makes hamburgers and hot dog buns. I just wanted to point this out. You're going to have to cut them yourself, which is okay. We have a bread knife. Here, babe, set these over there. You can just set them back on the table. Anyway, our chili sauce is done. Let's check it. Come in close on this, baby. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'm hungry now. We're going to have a little taste test here. I think See if it needs salt or pepper or anything. Me, please. Great. Was it good? Yeah. It's hot. Oh, yeah. And that's some good chili sauce right there. Let's check our potatoes and onions. Okay. Our potatoes and onions look good. Let's see. Are they tender? Oh, yeah. Perfecto. Try one of these. Perfecto. And it's a little hot. 
Next, we're going to make the um, cheese sauce, and I'll show you. I'll show you what it is, but it's pretty good. Mm, oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Let me get everything squared away here, and we'll be back in a second to show y'all the final product. All right, guys. What we're using for a chili, I mean a cheese sauce is this cheese whiz with pimento. Now I know, I know, it's not good for you, but it tastes pretty good. It's got a good cheddar cheese taste, and it makes a perfect cheese sauce for anything you want cheese sauce on. Now here I have made a double boiler out of this little stainless steel pot, put water in it, put a stainless steel bowl in it, that way my cheese won't stick to my pot and burn. So we're gonna add us just enough cheese sauce, cheese whiz for our chili dogs, and we're gonna melt that down and make us a cheese sauce. Okay, that's doing pretty good there. I think I got a little bit too much water into my boiler here. And that's going to continue to melt down as the boiling water in the pot gets hot or as the water in the, the pot starts to boil. So let's see, we got everything together, baby. All right, we'll be right back. We're gonna plate up everything and show y'all our chili cheese dogs. Okay guys, we're back. Our chili cheese, our chili sauce is ready. Our cheese sauce is ready. Come in and show them the chili sauce, baby. Oh, that looks perfect. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do with our jumbo fried hot dogs is a piece of black pepper on that one. If, and a fly wants him some, we're gonna sauce a little mustard on them. We're going to sauce a little chili sauce on them. And we're going to stick a little cheese sauce on them. And you're gonna have to let these cool, guys, cause it will burn your mouth. All right, guys, we'll be right back. We'll be right back for the taste test. This has to cool a little bit. All right, guys, this concludes our vision, uh, video of Giggling's Island's Chili Cheese Dogs. They're pretty good. You ought to try it if you're here in the Philippines somewhere and you just got to have a chili dog. You're probably going to have to make it yourself unless you go to one of the big cities in Cebu or Manila and some of the other big cities and find a hot dog place that makes chili dogs, cheese dogs, stuff like that. Anyway, here we go. Here is our chili cheese dogs and our smothered fried potatoes and Zia wanted a little cheese sauce on hers. So, let's have a taste test, baby. Taste, taste the potatoes. Mm. Are they good? All right, let's give you a bite of this cheese dog. Chili cheese dog. You know what? I forgot the onions. Hold on. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's bring a little white onion on there. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, you like them potatoes, huh, baby? I love potatoes.
All right, now let's have a look at our chili cheese dogs. There you go. Perfect. All right, babe. Have you ever had a chili cheese dog? Mm, yeah, and then you cooked it for me. When I cooked it before. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Take a big old bite of that and tell me how you like it. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Perfecto. Mmm. A little bite of potatoes. Oh, boy, I got a mouthful. Mmm. 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 Oh, well, you really like them potatoes, don't you, baby? I mm. love potatoes, right? Mmm, me too. So, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and click the bell, please. And give us a big thumbs up. Especially if you like Giggling's Island's Chili Cheese Dogs. Good day. Good day.